Now I've got a piece of walnut here and if you can see it on camera uh, these are the lines that I have drawn out and uh, this section here is the blank that's going to be my mallet blank but I don't have the capacity on my bandsaw to cut this down properly and I could probably use the table saw make some sort of jig to hold it steady and flip it over and cut it on both sides to accomplish that cut but I've got a chainsaw I can rough cut it and stay on the outside of my line um, to get my blank so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna take my chainsaw I'm gonna cut this down hopefully I can stay uh, on the line well enough to where I don't ruin the blank we'll see uh, but I've been wanting to try this and uh, I've been wanting to do a video on my combo head mallet and design the or explain the design and the process and that sort of thing so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's get the chainsaw out and cut the blank Okay, so we've got the blank cut out, and I have to say, using a chainsaw doesn't give you the best results if you're looking for, for consistency, uh, but using a chainsaw is one of my favorite things to do, so when I thought about using it, I jumped on it. Um, you know, using the table saw probably would have yielded better results, but I had fun making this. So now we're going to go ahead and chuck it up on the lathe and get to turning.
Okay, so the mallet. So we cut the blank out with the chainsaw, turned the turned it down on the lathe. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty simple, I guess. But I wanted to kind of give you some background on on this mallet and how I came up with the design on it. Uh, I basically just started out with a piece of a chunk of wood. I think it was walnut or cherry or something. And I got to this point where I had uh, two round sides and two flat sides, and so I stopped. And when I got to that point, I said, you know what, I like that. And so I started doing some research. I couldn't find anything. Um, asked several people around if they had seen one. Uh, but nothing really exactly like this. And so I just kind of stuck with this and kind of claimed the design, I guess. But um, a little bit of you know what, what I'm doing here is this little piece on the top is there's nothing more than it's supposed to look like the handle sticking through the head of the head of the mallet um, you know just kind of give it some visual appeal and then I started putting some decorative rings around it you know the the uh, simple things uh, but one thing that I added to this type of mallet that I think was a game changer are these rings right here if you'll notice these rings um, I put a little dip two little dips to where you could put your middle finger in there and hold the head of the mallet and so you can kind of do some real close-up chisel work um, if you just want to grip it with your fingers it kind of gives you a little bit of uh, stability to where you can really hammer down on something but that is really a game changer in this mallet and so I've really enjoyed that and the people who have some of these mallets some of them don't have the rings um, and so those are some of the originals uh, the ones that you might see a couple guys that have these that have the rings in it and they say they like that a lot better so that ring or the finger grip as I call it uh, just adds a lot of a lot of grip a lot of stability to that that mallet um, I've been in you know I've been thinking about a um, a patent process or you know something like that but um, I just want to document it here on this video to let you guys know that, that you know this is something I enjoy doing and I really like this design I really want your feedback uh, tell me what you think in the comments you know uh, how you feel you know about that look the, the, the flat sides and the round sides um, the finger grip you know what do you think about that idea and you know just I just want your feedback see what you think thanks guys for watching the video I uh, would like it if you would share this video. The more people that can see it, um, the better it is. So if you could, please share it, like, and comment, and tell me what you think in the comments. All right, guys, see you next time.